you're not you're not checking into an office. You're not. It's not traditional. So I gotta ask at the beginnings of this, you know, because even that going into to a very very untraditional uh, industry or untraditional way to make money, creating a YouTube channel. To YouTube 2020 is not what it was in 2011. So in some ways it's better, in some ways it's worse. Um, but did you know at that time there was this big opportunity or was it just for the love of tech that you said, hey, you know what, I, I, you know, there may be some opportunity in YouTube. There may be some opportunity building out Pocket Now's YouTube channel. And I'm just going to see where it takes me. Or did, At that time, were you able to see um, the future of where the world was going? I had gotten a very early lesson in how YouTube was going to change the way we people like us work. Uh, it was before Pocket Now. It was even right around the voiceover job. It was 2006, man. And again, before, before my tech life, my dad and I, my dad builds a lot of scale models of ships. This is the weird, this is the most abrupt left turn I can give you, but here it is. And I like building ships with them. I like filming them. I used to like making them look good on camera in 2006. I'm talking about rolling with a camera that had no audio that would do a maximum of 15 seconds per clip. It's basically like, you know, 1908. And um, we would upload these clips to YouTube just for fun. And I guess at some point uh, I turned on AdSense. And so in 2009, Google sends us an email and says, hey, it's tax season. You have like almost $1,000 sitting in an account here and you have to claim it. Otherwise, it's going to be forfeit. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I literally got on the phone with my dad. I'm like, this seems bogus. Do you agree? He's like, yes, let's try to cash the check and see if it works. Okay. And we did. And, you know, it was legit because it was the early days of Google AdSense and people had watched enough of these model ship videos to, 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 to bring enough revenue in. And it was like, oh, crap. You know, my dad has always been a one for unconventional work as well. He's not a nine to five guy. Um, and I'm like, dad, well, let's just shoot more videos. So we did more. We did rockets launching off of barges and sinking model Titanics and, you know, the submarines. And that was four or five years of that experience was like, there's plenty of eyeballs out there and there's a lot of money to be made here if you can do it full time. So yeah, coming into pocket now, I knew, I, I knew what was, I knew how much money could conceivably come in from a YouTube thing. Um, and it was very appealing to me that it wasn't a typical corporate job, man. Cause I, in addition to Star Trek, I was also deeply corrupted by, you know, the film office space. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, it's like that hit me at a particular time in my life where I was just like, yeah, I don't want to go into an office every day. That's not the kind of job that I personally like. No disrespect to anybody for whom that that's, that's great. I mean, I love, we're all different. It's just not, not for me. And so, I knew once pocket now was like, let's lean into this YouTube thing. Yep. Well, that's the strongest part of the website right now. So I agree. Let's do that. And that's where our, our skills kind of, kind of met up nicely because they taught me things I didn't know about the tech world. I was able to bring a little bit of my experience to the YouTube world. And suddenly we, we had a really nice thing going there for, for a number of years. It's good. You know, I'm, I'm really glad you told the story about your dad for a couple of reasons. I, I, I tried my best. Uh, the, the older I get, I come to realize that every experience we go through in this life, it's not accidental. It's yeah. always setting us up for something that we may not even see. We may not even be able to put the pieces together until we look behind us. And they say hindsight is twenty twenty. So here you are working with your dad, totally unrelated thing, field, but you got, you, you, you're starting to get an understanding of YouTube and how big it can become and understanding AdSense in the early days of YouTube. 2006, I believe, is when YouTube was bought by, um, by right, Google. Google. Yeah, yeah. So. So, so you were in there from the ground floor. But, so that's one area. Then there's the, the acting and the voiceovers, which if anybody ever watches your videos, uh, you know, your, your voiceover is key. It's that voice that we all, I could be blindfolded and hear your script. And I'm like, that's Mr. Mobile. There, yep. there's my permission right there. So all of these things kind of came into 
help you that you didn't even know one day they would be useful for your chosen career. So I just think it's good to point out, no matter, guys, whatever this, the, the journey you're on, embrace it. It, it. It's so important that you embrace every experience that you go through because you don't know. And I can almost guarantee at some point in your life, it is going to come into effect where you have to use those experiences and it's going to benefit you. So I'm glad you told those stories. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.